as you can see, a couple of the mates of our herbivores back in the Forest of Doom, well, they're the mates. The baby, the baby, um, right there, the Guanadon baby, well, he is the only kid that they, that uh, they had. As you can see, there's a... As you can see, I call this one Domi. Because he has the dome skull. The, so, and that one's just a lone herbivore. Right there. And, okay. Over here, nestled down it behind a big fallen tree, a Dilophosaurus is stalking the herbivores. Over there. Um, nevertheless, uh, his mate's somewhere around the plains. No, I won't do that. I think he's over there. Okay. I think. He wants to wait, go now, but he's waiting for someone to come. Um, he is waiting from the for the long neck from earlier before. Now they can hunt. Well, sort of. This one is sort of a long herbivore guy, and well, not herbivore, definitely no. He's an omnivore. The small one's gonna go for the iguanodon baby, well, the Dilophosaurus. He runs, he runs, he runs, and he gets the iguanodon baby. He carries it back and feasts on it right here. So nevertheless, um, let's focus on this guy now. He he's going to go for the small do domey over there. As you can see, he's just nestled down in some bushes. He doesn't. He doesn't run. He quietly stalks his prey. The others don't notice, they're just like, <laughs> And he kills the small domey and drags it back to his little lair with the Dilophosaurus and eats it. And so, even bigger predators come. The new raptor. He's cl claiming this is his spot. The these two just run off. Scamper. They just go into that little cave. So he eat this Velociraptor eats the remains of the of the these carcasses. First he drags this one here. He moves the log, he drags it the domey here. And he eats them. And he eats. Pretty soon, it's just a piece of carcass that he hides behind the log. And now he's going for bigger prey. The brack, wait, the iguanodon. going for the hunt. He will go in 10 minus 2 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The Brachiosaurus is just 
erase the mine. He throws the carcass right there. Well, it was not a carcass before, it was uh, a living thing. And he eats it alive. Well, not alive. He technically has to kill it. So, there we have it. No, don't. don't. For them, he is eating, eating, eating. And he is filled up. And he's going to go into the other guy's cave. And this guy's going to eat the rest of the carcass that's there. Eh, it is a fast eater. I know, fast food. <laughs> and you're probably wondering about. And that guy is done. This guy goes back to his lair. Another super predator comes. He's going for the Brachiosaurus. Right there. Silently stalks it. Wait. And he strikes! And he pushes it all the way here. All dragged. And he eats, 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 eats! It alive. Well, I'm not. Oh, come on! Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> and he eats it. Not alive. Well, I guess it's alive. The Brachiosaurus is still alive, so he twists it, its neck. And it has been broken. And he eats. Another predator comes along. Well, scavenger. He, he had his fill. Scavenger from earlier before eats the rest of it, and so there's still a small triceratops over there, and this guy has had his fill, and it's now just a bunch of bones. I'll take this. Okay. T-Rex comes eventually, waiting for the right moment to kill the Triceratops. And he goes for the kill. <laughs> and he twists its neck off. And it has been done. He drags it all the way to his secret little layer that's right here and isn't really a secret. He eats it and eats it and eats it. It's it's actually a small meal for a tyrant, tyrant lizard king. So that's the end of this episode. Goodbye.